From his breakout role in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to his last action-packed movie, Bad Boys Ride or Die, Will Smith has given us banger after banger. Let's go! With a few sprinkles of shit, today we battle it out to see who could draft the best top five. The best Will Smith box set that you would want to buy. And the choices are kick ass. From superheroes to robots to aliens. Welcome to Earth. To serious roles. Westerns. <laughs> to even more aliens. All the way to playing the greatest boxer of all time. Will Smith very rarely lets us down. <laughs> oh. I said rarely. So what deserves to be drafted? What deserves to be on our lists? So join myself, Adzi, and Grandpa Popcorn at the bar, as today we will battle it out and draft our best top five films. What will be number one? Who will have the best list? It's all up to you. So sit back, crack a drink, and join us. Let's see some blood. What is up? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back, Adzi. What's going on, man? Not much. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Good to see you, man. We're back doing Will Smith today. It's going to be a fucking banger. We can't fucking start the show without saying fucking day to fucking Grandpa at the bar. G'day, Grandpa. I'm getting jiggy with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting jiggy with it. Um, so we're doing fucking. So we're doing the best uh, Will Smith movies as usual. We have fucking rules as always. Fucking rules, man. Um, we're we're pretty good with uh, this one because we haven't really picked any Will Smith movies in our uh, previous um, drafts. So um, basically, yeah. it's all for one in this one. And uh, Monster Race the first pick as usual. Don't just pick for both. Pick your personal faves, which is going to be interesting to see because there's a lot of bangers. And um, we'll vote the uh, we'll add the votes up at the end of the year to see who the fucking king is. Who the king is? <laughs> <laughs> You're smashing me at the moment, mate. Ah, <laughs> uh, anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. Um, yeah. I did look at it, and um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing a, I'm yeah. doing okay. I'm do, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, all right, man. Fucking uh, monster race. Who have we got? Oh, you got fucking marshmallow man this time, mate. No, nah, he's going to win this time. I feel <laughs> he probably fucking will. Has he won he's one sick. yet? No, he hasn't won one yet. He's a no, fucking... he's sick. sick and tired of you slagging him off as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fucking do it. It's on. Nah. Come nah, on. He's got Puffy Marshmallow fresh. Man. We're rooting for him because he fucking has never won one. There's this fucking... I've got this freaking mouse thing. He's going to win again. He yeah, always yeah, yeah. fucking wins. This thing always fucking wins. Yeah. What the fuck is it? I still don't know. I still don't know. Um, yeah. All right, man. I got. I got number one. I, I don't. I rarely win these. Nah, nah. I I, I could. Uh, uh, I can say without a doubt. I usually win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So without a doubt, number one has to be from two thousand and seven. I am legend. Nice. Without a doubt. <laughs> This is a banger. This is a banger. Did you say fuck you? No. <laughs> just, like, just stop trying to make me fucking laugh. I, I hope you're fucking. I hope you've cursed me because uh, yeah, I finally wanted to snag one from underneath you. Uh, this no, I love fucking, that film. Yeah. This is a, this is a ripper, man. Fucking uh, with the plague killing fucking uh, all of humanity um, and uh, everyone transforming into monsters. They're zombies, whatever the fuck they are. It's a, it's a big <laughs> argument. A lot of people say they're fucking vampires. A lot of people say they're fucking zombies. I'm going with, because it's the remake of the Vincent Price, uh, Last Man on Earth uh, from 1964, which I fucking <laughs> love. Um, mm -hmm. They are kind of uh, vampirish because they can't go into the sun. So. Yeah, I'm going with vampires. I always thought they were vampires. So Yeah. yeah. So I, yeah. I think they're vampires as well, but... Um, uh, a lot of other people are saying they're kind of zombies and monsters. But anyway, regardless of that, it's a fucking banger of a movie. Once again, I kind of said to you I like these uh, movies where it's a solo solo act. 
uh, mm-hmm. solo performance and all that. Um, very clever. Just one scene I don't like. You probably don't like it either with the dog. Yeah. Don't yep. like that scene. That's horrible, that scene. But apart from that, um, sequel coming out soon. Don't know how they're going to do that. No. Uh, <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> um, it's going to be because, interesting. But, yeah. yeah, so are they going the alternate ending or the original ending? I think they'd go with the original because uh, it was the theatrical, I think. Um, but yeah. I actually prefer the alternate ending, if I'm being honest. But yeah. uh they, yeah, I think they should go with the alternate ending because, yeah, that one's more uh, banger for me anyway. But, yeah. They um, did it on purpose just in case they needed to fucking do a sequel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I'm with you with the dog scene. Anything with animal cruelty or, or not really cruelty but animals. Um, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. So anything where animals are in danger, let me say, I hate it. So, yep. yeah. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, yeah, uh, things that, yeah, it's just horrible in my opinion, yeah. As fucking sad as shit that scene as well. I don't care yeah. what anyone says. You can fucking <laughs> be, a man, be a man all you want, but that scene's fucking sad as all fuck. But apart yeah. from that, it's a fucking brilliant movie. I love fucking uh, end of the world shit. There's nothing like uh, seeing some type of end of the world fucking movie. So I'm stoked with my number one. Um you're a fan of that no. movie as well? Was that your yeah. number one? or? Um, it was up there. It was probably three, actually. But, oh. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I've got a couple of... Uh, I've got to get one on here or you'll freaking snap it up. Speaking of yeah. the end of the... Oh, it's not really end of the world, but... Uh, um, my number one is Independence Day. <laughs> nice. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got yeah. it. <laughs> um, but not just because, uh, and I'm not picking it because it's popular. I'm picking it because it was like my first um, cinema experience with Will. You know, yep. and like just, uh, f- same uh, year, like, actually, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I, I knew him on Fresh Prince, and yep. uh, um, I knew his musical stuff. You know, the tick, 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 boom, yep. shit. Yep. But uh, um. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, that was my first as a kid, just watching him on the big screen today, yeah. And yeah. Uh, it still holds up. It's a fantastic film. You've got Jeff Goldblum in it. You've got uh, um, Bill Pullman as the president. You know I mean? It's it's just a fun film. And, like, some of the um, the CGI effects, you know, uh, the explosions and stuff, they still look good to this day, you know. And, um, yeah, I still find it. I got it on 4K and I still find it super entertaining. So. Yeah, um, there was no way I wasn't going to pick that, pick that one as number one. Hundred percent. I picked it up on just normal DVD uh, for fifty cents at the <laughs> op shop, and um, we chucked it on, and it's still fucking banger on just normal DVD, even though yeah. it's fucking uh, not the greatest fucking quality compared to Blu-ray and all that. But I was just like, fuck it, let's just chuck it on because I need to fucking watch it for this for my second pick that just got stolen. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's fucking still a banger. Love the. Um, uh, what's his name? It was from National Lampoons as well. Uh, the vacation oh. movie. Um, the bloke that's uh, in the airplane. Oh, Randy Quaid. Randy, Randy Quaid. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's fucking. He's fantastic in the Winnebago on the way to yep. the fucking Area Fifty One. Everything about it is so cool. I love that scene as well where they do get to the Area Fifty One. Yep. It's just what we all kind of want to see. We all want to see what's inside there. I'm glad they put it in there. It's just a fucking cool movie. Will Smith's fucking wicked. He's wicked in it. Oh. Goldblum is fucking brilliant in it. Yeah. He's, oh, he can't do anything wrong, in my opinion. No, he's one of my favourite actors. He's, yeah, he's a he's very, He's very underrated. He's very <laughs> underrated. <laughs> but, uh, nah, I've, uh, yeah, uh, it's a fantastic film. Great perform- performance by Will. Um, and, yeah, I mean, uh, had to be my one. <laughs> Nah, good bloody pick, man. Good bloody pick. Um, <coughs> Grandpa, what would have you picked if you got number one pick? <laughs> what would you have picked? That movie he did with his kid. Uh, I, I fell asleep, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was a classic. <laughs> <laughs> After <I'm> Earth, mate. <laughs> good choice. I I was thinking, is Grandpa going to talk about After Earth or not? <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Only a drunk would pick that. Um, 
All right, I am going. Um, I'm happy with uh, getting this as number two. Um, I'm going from 2004. <coughs> I Robot. Ooh, nice. There's a beauty. This is a, this is a banger, man. This is a banger. So Will Smith's hatred for these fucking robots is fucking killer in this yeah. movie. Um, and investigating them and all other cops and all that. Robots don't do fucking bad things. Robots aren't fucking evil. Nah, he's on to them. He's fucking on to them because he's helping to fucking investigate his mate's death or the professor's death and there's all these clues. It's freaking awesome. Um, the investigation, it's, it is an investigation movie. Don't care what yeah, anyone definitely. says. It's, it's definitely. a fucking, just because there's robots in it, it's an investigation movie, cop movie, the whole way through. Um, the robots look cool as shit. Um, I did make a note, fucking uh, one thing, because I was watching it again the other day. I don't know how long ago <laughs> you watched it. I've been afraid. Um, <laughs> but um, you know when the new robots come in, like the ones that's accused and all that? So when the yep. new br- the new models come in and um, the big truck comes to take away uh, the old fucking robots so you can trade in for the new uh, model? Um, so, yeah, trade in old robots for the uh, new model. The robots all look so fucking sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it for ages, but yeah, and I remember that there's that one scene where if, um, he's hiding with the other robots, the one that yes. uh, it can feel, yes. and and that's suspenseful as shit. Always, it's like yep. tattooed in my mind. Um, and uh, Will Will's hunting him through all these robots, and like he just uh, you see him like look across, and uh, he's Will's right there. But really good scene, and it's directed by the guy who did the Crow. You know, he, for, uh, Aussie. Uh, filmmaker uh, Alex Pro Proyas, I think, yep. and uh, yeah, he does an awesome job with the directing, and Will's great in it. So, oh, there's yeah. some fucking banger bits in there, and there's some fucking good chase scenes and all that. I'd love to know. I don't like watching behind the scenes in the making of movies because <laughs> I, I, I already told you that before. But fuck, I'd love to know how they did some of that stuff because it's freaking pretty banger. But um, yeah, that bit with it, and those, and then those robots help him later on um, against the. Uh, kind of newer robots because um, when he's hiding in there, they're like, danger, protect, danger, protect. So they are the true fucking robots. So, no, I like like that movie. That's a fucking banger. I'm happy to get that as number two. Um, I really suggest re-watching that again because um, I watched it again the other day and I was like, fuck, I forgot how good this is. You know me. I watch, like, these are my recommendations when I watch these uh, shows with you. Um, Yeah, I... Yeah, always watch the ones you, you suggest uh, and uh, have a ball. So, yeah, that'll be top of the list. Yeah, no, it's been a while since I'd watched it and I'm really glad we're doing Will Smith tonight because um, re-watching a lot of these Will Smith movies, I was like, fuck, I forgot how good he is in some of these fucking films. He's just a fucking banger of a fucking uh, actor. Actress. He's just he's just so good. He's just yeah. so good. And he, he can, and there's some good comedy scenes in uh, iRobot too as well. He does some good fucking uh, puns giving the robot shit. So... No, yeah. love it. Murder well, investigation. <laughs> yeah, well, and the thing with Will is that just his presence, he's got that uh, movie star presence. You know, it's like, uh, um, you know, there's only a few movie stars, real movie stars, you know, and Will's one of them. You know, you've got Brad Pitt, you've got Leo DiCaprio, but yep. Will's definitely a movie star, you know. and uh, Definitely. Um, and fun fact, he was supposed to, or uh, um, Tarantino wanted him as the lead for... Um, uh, Django? For Django and yep. uh, freaking uh, what's uh, Will turned it down? He said really? it was too. Yeah, he said it was too violent, and, uh, and this is the dude who made bl- Bad Boys and shit. And too violent. Will come on, <laughs> pot pot kettle, but like what too violent. Fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so he turned it down, and Jamie Fox was second uh, on Tarantino's list. But yeah, he was first pick for Django. So yeah. And he yeah. turned it down, and it would have been one of the biggest mistakes he's ever made, I reckon. Yeah, so, a lot, you hear a lot of you hear a lot of actors do that shit, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Denzel was another one who turned down um, Seven, Brad Pitt's yep. role in Seven. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And he and yep. he said in interviews, uh, there was an interview with Jamie Foxx where he said to Jamie, he said, um, "Yeah, that's that's my biggest uh, regret was turning down Seven. You know, so yeah." yeah. Nah. Did you hear, um, before we get to your second bit, did you hear, um, I just read a news article, Kurt Russell's um, biggest regret? Uh, no, no. Accidentally smashing that guitar that he thought was a prop in... Um, oh, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> in um, oh, hate shit, for the hate for late. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smashing the guitar. Jennifer Jason has uh, apparently absolutely went nuts at, at him as well. You know, because uh, it was like a, a one of her prized possessions, I think. And yeah, uh, yeah oh, that would have been like. <laughs> I, I mean, it would have. It's not funny, but I mean, it kind of is funny. I mean, I wasn't there, so I could laugh at it. <laughs> Who begins to switch it back? Yeah. No. Nah. He's a, he, yeah, and you can tell that, yeah, I remember watching that now, and he was so embarrassed, but yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so good, man. Yeah. What's your number two, man? What is your... Uh, sorry, I waffled, waffled a bit there. Good, um, I got, good. <laughs> I've got to go with the original Bad Boys, mate. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I think that that was my... Uh, it was the first time where I was like, um, he can actually do some serious shit in a film. You know, he was he's very good at comedic stuff, but he actually he switches yeah. on some seriousness in this, you know, when the um, his girl... Uh, it, it kind of his girlfriend dies and he has to, you know, uh, switch some uh, gears, you know, but... Uh, um, I just love this the original and this uh, and maybe another one, but uh, yeah, um, they're part of, part of me growing up and part of my love of action films and yeah, uh, but just the original and the banter between him and Martin. I mean, it's it's yeah. funny shit, you know. Um, he's, and he's, he's still buff in this, but he's skinny buff when you watch it back now. He is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and he, got, he was still in Fresh Prince when he was just filming this. Yeah, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, he's still got the bit where he's running with the shirt open, though, to yeah, yeah, show, yeah. Off, show off what he's packing. But yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's he's a badass in this as well as as Mike. Yeah. You know, he's he literally uh, like because he's the one who can pull the trigger pre- basically on anyone, and Martin's like the one who actually thinks about it before killing yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. um, no, nah, I I always have a ball with this, and I've watched it. I don't want to say how many times. <laughs> <laughs> This, when this came out, this was just like a fucking banger of a fucking banger because it was just like it was the action we all wanted that we hadn't had for a while. There had been yeah. a couple of years of some still good action movies, but this was like, thank you very much. Bring the fucking 80s style action back. Thank you. With Mike Larry. Mike Larry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, easy. Mike Larry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What's her name? Uh, the chick that they've got in protection there, uh, Tia Leone. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's a she's gorgeous, and uh, um, so is uh, um, uh, Ange- I think it's Angela. No, uh, uh, what's her name? I think it's Teresa Russell or Teresa Randall uh, plays uh, 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 Marcus's missus. She's gorgeous as well, you know. Oh and, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's uh, so many <laughs> gorgeous girls in this one. But it's an no. action. But I have the gorgeousness. I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. And they're all freaking good actors. They're actresses too as well. They fucking all did a oh, good shit, job. Yeah. So they all did a yeah, really yeah. fucking good job. Everything about it, good plot, good dialogue, fucking uh, good fucking good good directing as well. That was uh, yeah. the way the fucking camera follows them when they're running and all that. Not easy to do when you're uh, doing a fucking – Doing a uh, action movie because we've seen some flops. <laughs> yeah, well, that that was the Michael Bay's first one, and he, you know, he you get the Bay him. That's what he's known for now. You know, he does all the fucking Transformer films now, which yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about them. Uh, there's yeah. not much. Yeah, I'm not wasting energy on them. But uh, um, they're all the he's same. So now. Good. <laughs> yeah, they are. You know, and like, but he's so good at action films. Like, you look at like The Rock. And yep. uh, um, some of the ones that he's done, you know, uh, uh, are fantastic. But, yeah, he went a different route, like a bit like old James Cameron. But uh, what can you do? <laughs> I'm not starting yeah. it around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know what you're saying. Uh, um, all right. Fucking this is my number three pick. I'm going to go with the 1997 Men in Black. Oh, fuck. I was next. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go, Men in Black. Um, <laughs> he's a cool. He's playing a cop again. He's like yeah. before he gets fucking chosen for the Men in Black. He's playing the cop again. It's just like it's hilarious when you're watching these movies. You're like, he's a fucking cop again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. how many times you want to fucking play cops? But um, this is wicked when he gets uh, picked. He basically hand picked by Tommy. Um, 
or Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, is he is he Z in this? Is it Z? No, not. Uh, I can't remember what letter he is now. Oh, oh, just... Yeah, it's a letter. Um, yeah, but yeah, well, he's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will Smith's J. I know that, but I can't remember what letter fucking Tommy is. But uh, I think yeah, he's Z. I can't either. Nah, yeah. uh, but wicked man. Now I wanted to fucking make a point of this. Like Will Smith was awesome in it. The way. He acts when he's fucking doing the test, pulls the table over into himself, fucking once he's in, he fucking thinks he's top shit. But even his reactions <laughs> are when he sees these fucking aliens uh, in, like, uh, customs, <laughs> alien customs is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, um, the big cockroach bug guy, uh, the actor that plays him is fucking fantastic. The way he's fucking right. Vincent is, D'Onofrio, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I like pronouncing last names. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is fucking wicked. He plays that so good. His face is sagging down. <laughs> he is fucking brilliant in it. But yeah. um, watch this again the other night. The fucking aliens do look when you watch it again now. Yeah, a little bit, uh, yeah, whatever. Who cares? It's mm. 1997. Get the fuck over it. Have a watch. Have fun. <laughs> nice. It's still fucking, it's still action. It's still fucking good. Tommy fucking does great in every movie he does as well. He's another underrated one. But um, yeah, I don't know when the last time is that you watched Men in Black. But I haven't seen fucking uh, two and three fucking for yonks. So it's made me want to watch uh, the sequel to it after seeing the ending when uh, this Tommy wants to get fucking uh, zapped. But yeah. um, The sequel's pretty fun. good. The third one isn't. Uh, I didn't like the third one, but the sequel's uh, not bad, I, I thought. Yeah. Can't I can't remember the third one. I didn't watch International. I'm not in, interested in International. No. Nah. That one was. Well, like, he, isn't he gone and it's uh, uh, Chris yeah, it's, Hemsworth? And, yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Not interested. <laughs> not interested yeah. either. No. Nah, yeah, yeah. No thanks. But no, nah, this one was a banger. Um, the aliens still fucking hold up today. Look pretty cool. I, I really loved the customs. <laughs> the customs yeah. area looked fucking cool as shit. But it had a good story. It fucking it actually did have a good story. It was cool. So I'm happy with that. Men in black, yeah, man. No, great, great choice, mate. Um, I'm gonna go a nineties one again. Um, I'm gonna go Enemy of the State. <laughs> um, yeah, off. And fucking I gotta if the, if he's in a Tony Scott film, it's in my list, you know, yeah. uh, without a doubt. But again, you know, and like you were saying, he loves playing cops, but he also just loves playing the hero. And yep. uh, um, yeah, and this one's fantastic. Um, he gets uh, his life pretty much absolutely fucked up because uh, um, uh, uh, someone drops. I won't go into the whole thing, but someone drops something in his bag when he's in a lingerie shop, and uh, um, they, he Earl. doesn't. Know it. <laughs> yeah, 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 and uh, uh, freaking, he doesn't know it, and then um, yeah, everyone's after him for a certain reason, but uh, if you haven't seen this one, and I know a lot of people that haven't, and um, you go check it out. It's so much fun, and, yeah, like I said, Tony Scott, um, he's one of my favourite all-time directors, and uh, R.I.P. to him. But, uh, yeah, um, great film. Love it. Nah, it is a banger. Fucking, um, he's a lawyer this time, but, fucking, but he's, uh, he acts like a fucking cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does. <laughs> he acts like a cop. Uh, fucking funny story about this movie. Fucking 1998, when this came out, my cousin and his girlfriend um, took me, I went up to Perth, took me uh, to the cinemas for a fucking blind date and uh, brought, this, <laughs> brought, brought this chick along to the fucking cinemas and all that. I fucking fell asleep during this movie. I fucking... <laughs> Within the first fucking like ten minutes, I don't know what I was drinking and all that crap. So, oh, fuck! I've never seen that fucking, <laughs> never saw that fucking girl ever again and shit. But uh, that's surprising. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that was fucking funny. But um, yeah, it took me years before I watched it again. Then when I finally watched it, I was like, "Fuck, this is a banger!" I wish I got to see this properly in the cinemas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, oh, it's... Of hearing me snore. Yeah. Oh, I, I saw it at cinemas too, and uh, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, yeah, it's a big screen film, you know. And uh, um, yeah, it's a, a, a absolute ball, you know, like Bad Boys and like uh, uh, Men in Black. You know, you, you just sit down, you have a, have a great time at the movies, and you know, yeah, it's one of those. It's a real conspiracy um, 
uh, kind of movie um, when you're trying to you're trying to you're trying to figure out fucking why why do they? Of course, because they're trying to the the information on this uh, little hard drive thing has got who killed uh, someone who's killed someone. We just don't want to give away everything. But Gene Hackman's in this, and Gene Hackman's awesome. It's great. Um, surprised me, and I forgot when I watched it again the other day that he was in it. So he doesn't come into it halfway through. But um, you piss yourself laughing when you watch it again because you've got a young Jack Black in there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. you got a young yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah. Uh, Seth uh, Gr- Green. Seth Green, yeah, the ginger yep. little prick. And he's yep. barking orders. And he's barking <laughs> orders. And you're like, what are you, this little ginger prick's a skinny little fucking, probably weighs about fucking 50 kilos soaking wet. And he's fucking barking orders at everyone. You're like, holy yeah. shit, you're like a fucking leader of an FBI or something? But And then you got some young guys that are in fucking uh, the Fast and the Furious movies and all that shit. You watch it back now and you go, <laughs> fucking hell, that flat top dude. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you watch it back now and you just go, fuck me, this is fucking pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it, yeah, there's some crazy uh, – um, I think Scott Kahn, he's in it. Um, uh, you got like Jake uh, Busey's in it. Yeah, um, Scott Kahn's the flat top guy I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, scene stealer for me is Tom Sizemore as the mafia yep. guy. Uh, yep. uh, I thought he was great in it. And uh, he's always great in those parts, you know. Again, he's passed as well. Jesus. But, uh, um, oh, yeah. Oh, Jamie I, Kennedy. I think he has. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he has. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh. Uh, comment down below if he's still alive. I think he's passed. <laughs> I'm not no, laughing. Jamie, I just don't know. You bastard. Jamie Kennedy's <laughs> in it too. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah, he's too. Yeah. yeah. There's a fucking <laughs> banger of fucking actors in this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back. Or like 90s, uh, yeah, teen guys that, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Great actors, yeah. They were just getting but, started. Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, love this film. It's a beauty. All right. What's this your, is uh, four. This is gonna. This is hard for me, <clears throat> mm. but I'm gonna go for number four. Fuck. Think, yeah. yeah, this is fucking. This is this is hard, man. Um, I'm gonna go with. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it. Um, King, King Richard. I'm gonna go King Richard. Nice. Um, I enjoyed this only because I didn't know anything about the Williams sisters. Um. I don't mind watching a little bit of tennis if it's on because, um, as you know, a fucking game will go for six hours, so it doesn't matter if you're walking halfway through <laughs> it. You can, you, can, you can figure out where you're up to in a tennis game. You go, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. yeah, no worries. Fucking might as well watch the end of this. <laughs> um, but, um, look, nothing again. I like tennis. Nothing wrong with it. It is a long watch. But I didn't really know too much about the Serena girls. Um, I don't know if you did either before you watched this. A little and, bit, um, yeah, the Williams sisters, and the dad was a fucking prick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. The dad was a prick, yeah. and yeah, Will Smith played it so good. He played yeah. it very, very good. And I know, out of all of his uh, serious movies that I could have chose out of, um, he's played some fantastic serious roles. But I don't know, this one might hit me more uh, out of a lot of them. And I just think um, King Richard's the way to go for me uh, on my fourth pick. Definitely worth watching if you haven't seen it. And it was on even Netflix or Binge for ages before I clicked on it and watched it. Yeah. I wasn't interested in watching it. And I finally clicked on it. It was around Christmas time and I was like, this is good. This is actually mm. a very, very good movie. Um, I rated it very high. Um, is it one to brag about? Nah. Is it one to suggest to people to watch once? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I agree so I think that's why it deserves to be in my top five for his actual acting performance um, mm-hmm. and for playing that role of the dad um, pretty well because I looked up uh, what he was like and he was a piece of fucking work. So I'm going to go King Richard. Nice choice, mate. Yeah. And he won the Oscar for it as well, so there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, and then something else happened. Well, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> there you go. I don't follow the Oscars. It's all fucking rigged. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> where's, Jean, where's Jean-Claude Van Damme's Oscar for 1988's fucking blood sport? <laughs> he deserves it, mate. He's so good. I know. Mate. Where's fucking Steven Seagal's fucking Oscar for fucking <laughs> Under Siege? Exactly. <laughs> it's Casey exactly. Rayback. 
<laughs> exactly. Uh, but not uh, happy with that. Nah, Can sweet as but yeah, it's it, it's it. Uh, like it's not my favorite. Like, uh, but yeah, uh, I think he, I think he's great in it, and uh, um, it's, yeah, it's it's a it's a one time watch for me. But it was it was good, you know. And I did like you say, it was a lot of stuff I didn't know about the yeah. um, the sisters and um, the dad. So yeah, um, no, good it's, choice. It's a like I said, it's a it's a not it's a not. I'm gonna run out and buy this. It's not fucking. Oh, give it to me now. Blah. Sign my copy of King Richard, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking frame <laughs> it. Uh, it's not that. It's fucking. <laughs> it's just. It's, it deserves to be on my top five just because uh, it needs to be watched at least once. At least once. Yeah. Sign my motherfucking copy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're like at a tennis match, you just see the guy go, quiet, please. And you, you got someone yeah. in the stands going, yeah, Serena, sign fucking King Richard. <laughs> Don't my King Richard. <laughs> All right, number four. Oh. Uh, I was going to say you're a C word, but I'll I'll hold it in. <laughs> I condone it. I condone. Uh, God. What do we got? Um, I've got uh, Michael Mann's Ali as my number four. Um, uh, nice. I love Michael Mann as a director. He's uh, uh, two of his films are in my top five of all time: um, yep. uh, Last of the Mohicans and Heat. But yep. uh, um, with Ali, a completely different film from those two. And like, it's just like because uh, with King Richard's biopic, uh, yep. so is this, or biopic, or, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Same shit. Bi- a biopics, right? I think. <laughs> always, yeah. always question it. Is it right or not? But uh, um, yeah, and so obviously he's playing Muhammad Ali in it, and uh, um, yeah, yeah, I thought this is his best uh, serious role for me. Um, he didn't win the Oscar though; he was nominated, but he didn't win. But it's just. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I pray Will Smith sees this and sees how shit it is <laughs> and comes and slaps both of you pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm not. I'll fucking stop it. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, he plays Armin Ali. And uh, but the directing this is fantastic by Michael Mann, and it really makes you it puts you in like the Rumble in the Jungle fight, and uh, at the end, and um, Jamie Foxx is fantastic in it. Um, uh, John Voight as the announcer, he's he's great, and uh, yeah, definitely if you haven't seen this for a while, definitely uh, you got to have a rewatch of it because I thought it was fantastic, and yeah, it's my favorite serious role by Will, so yeah. Hundred percent. This is what I was tossing up between Ali and uh, King Richard. Yeah, I yeah. No, you were gonna take Ar- I didn't think you were going to take Ali next. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I thought you were fucking savoring it. I was going to try and be sneaky. Um, <laughs> you got no, I know you were, but yeah. I've, got, I've left it open where you can pick one that uh, yeah. will kill me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think- <laughs> well, let's talk about Ali first. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It does, get little, yeah. does get a little bit. Um, some people might say political, um, but mm. I say it's telling the true story of what happened. Um, it can get emotional in some bits where he is around all those uh, children in that area, uh, in that country when he's um, training and all that. Um, he was very fucking, very, very good. I'm talking about Will Smith. was very, yeah. very good to learn all those fucking lines, all those riddles and all those things oh, yeah. that fucking Ali says. Very, very clever. So, uh, sign my copy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like the, his accent in it as well. Uh, yes. How he, he, it's so well done by Will. Like uh, the way he changes his, uh, the way he speaks. Um, yeah. it not, it like uh, obviously accent, it's a different way of speaking. But like, uh, um, just the words uh, that he's saying. Uh, I'll, I'll end up off. I know what you're there. saying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it sounds saying. it sounds really, really like um, Ali, you know, like the real Muhammad. 
But uh, yeah, I think it would have been a hard task for anyone to uh, try and mimic uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, and I think he does a great job. So yeah, um, yeah. fantastic film for me. And and what a fucking that's so good getting given that role, like asked to do that role. Like, yeah, just, yeah. Um, I mean, what an honor. Yeah, and uh, oh, like because for me, I mean, Muhammad Ali is the best best boxer of all time. You know, I mean, oh. a lot of people. Hey, Mike Tyson and all that, but just Rocky his Balboa. speed and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Apollo <laughs> Creed. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, Muhammad Ali's the best boxer of all time. In my opinion. Shut up, Drago. Up. Drago. <laughs> <laughs> nah, agreed, a hundred percent. Ali is the fucking greatest of all time. The goat. Uh, my last pick. I'm. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not going for the win. And like I say in the rules, like I'm going for a uh, personal favorite. And you know what? I'm choosing this over all the others. And I don't give a fuck because you chose fucking Freaky Friday and bloody uh in the James <laughs> Lee Curtis one. So I'm choosing something <laughs> fucking fun. I want something fun on my list. And I enjoyed the shit out of this in 2019. I loved Aladdin. I fucking loved Aladdin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> I yep. absolutely had fucking fun with this movie. Now, I liked the fucking uh, original when I was a kid. Yep. Loved the original when I was a kid. When I watched this again, I only seen it once, uh, but when I watched this again, I was like, this is fucking fun. And he did a good job. And he did fucking, no matter what anyone says, they're like, oh, fucking whatever. They fucking added and took out some extra shit and all that. Get over it. Fucking get the fuck over it. It's for kids. It's not even meant to be for me. But I sat back and I watched it. Me and my wife watched it and we both went, that was all right. That was fucking fun. He did a fucking yeah. good job. He looked like he was having fun. Fucking why not? Um, I've got a few reasons why not. But <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's a bad film so I don't like doing that. And, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, if you enjoy, like my whole thing is, if you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. I'm not going to sit there slagging you off about it. I mean, it, everyone has different tastes, and yeah, I mean, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, good yeah. on you, you know, for picking that, you know. And Guy Ritchie directed it. I've got no idea yeah. why, but <laughs> exactely. Look, um, I take out, I take out a lot of the fucking songs, um, <laughs> and make it a bit more, and make it a bit more violent, and make it a bit more violent. But you know what? Fucking the kids absolutely love it. I fucking didn't have a problem with it because I thought Will Smith was fucking really cool as a fucking genie. Um, I thought he was fucking actually pretty funny. and His bits were funny as fuck. Like I said, take out a lot of these fucking songs because I don't want to hear a lot of these fucking songs again. Prince yeah. Ali, Ali Bobby. I don't want to <laughs> fucking – I don't want to hear a lot of this fucking shit again. But he, if I just watched all Will Smith's roles, he was pretty fucking funny. He was all right. They did an all right job. So I'm chucking it in there. People You're trying to get fucking straight facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're it in there. Very nice. Um, uh, you're, you're, you're I want a recording. Back. I want a recording of you watching Aladdin again. No, that's not going <laughs> to fucking happen. Uh, you're, gonna, you're, you're, gonna, you're sitting back going, oh, I've got this yeah. awesome episode under my fucking wing now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to oh. – Actually, yeah, I do because I'm going to pick uh, as my number five the pursuit pursuit of happiness. Nice, um, nice. Yeah, uh, he's fantastic in it. it. Made me cry that bathroom scene. Jesus Christ! Um, anyone who doesn't cry, I mean, you made a stone. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's about a guy who has to overcome a lot of shit, and uh, it's uh, the one performance of Jade and his son that I can actually fucking tolerate. Uh, um, before he turned into a weird little prick? Yeah, I just, I can't stand the prick. But, I mean, uh, yeah. he was great in this as a little boy, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, 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 yeah, and Will was fantastic. But, yeah, it's just, um, and it's a true story, you know, about this bloke yeah. who um, has to overcome so much stuff just to get, like, a j office job and, like, you know, and it shows you uh, what he's willing to do, you know, and he has to, um, there's some hard shit in this that uh, he has to, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, sleep in, uh, you know, men's toilets and shit like that. And, you yep. know, it's just a really hard watch, you know, yeah, emotionally, you know, it's not hard. Like, uh, it's a bit, it's a, it's a very, uh, 
um, depressing in parts, but uh, it's worth it for the the ending, you know. Obviously, but uh, no, nah. great and film. a true story, yeah, 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 yeah. But the real guy is a real guy, and uh, um, <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> And you laugh at it. He fucking, you laugh at it. He fucking, he took an internship, unpaid, living in a fucking bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> if only he had a fucking genie. In a- <laughs> you're taking the piss of that pick. I know you. Fuck it. Uh, but you'll get the votes because there's a lot of. I'm sure there's a lot of Aladdin fans out there. And yeah, it's the freak. God bless you all. You know. It's the freaky fro. I'm trying the freaky fro. I know, I know you're trying it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, anyway, you know Pursuit of Happiness uh, is great. It's lots of fun, and yeah, go check it out if you haven't seen it. If you but just be have some tissues with you because it's very uh, sad in parts. Definitely, definitely, and have some tissues with you if you watch Focus. Um, <laughs> we can. I was yes. walking into that. <laughs> Um, I saw it coming. Fuck. <laughs> so did she. Um, <laughs> and this has just turned uh, south, this one. So let's uh, put on the board um, our top five. So I've got I Am Legend, I Robot, Men in Black, King Richard and Aladdin, and you've got ID4, Independence Day, Bad Boys, Enemy of the State, Banger. Ali and Pursuit of Happiness, man. So we've both got good fucking lists. I think you will roll me in this one because I fucked up because uh, we'll talk about it in the live finale when we look at the votes. But um, I, don't, I, I think you've got a chance. I'm telling you there's a chance. Yeah, there was. Um, <laughs> who knows, man? Who fucking knows? Who knows? I just went with fucking. That's what it is. All right. Like, subscribe, and um, Grandpa, tell them. Grandpa, tell them. Don't forget to vote in the community section on the draft poll, you sons of bitches. (laughs) (laughs) He's such a lovely man. (laughs) He's a fucking drunk. Uh, So in the community section, it will come up straight away for you to vote, and that will be up there, so make sure you vote. End of the year, we'll uh, do a tally. We're a bit loopy tonight. I'm fucking, uh, we're out of here. Adzy30 on Instagram. I'm yeah. uh, Blood Popcorn One on Instagram. Cheers for watching. Next week, we're doing whatever the fuck we want to do because that's the way we do it. Uh, don't forget to tell your mum we said hi and uh, see you. <laughs> <laughs>